don't you? Simba! Yeah, who's this man here? Bridges, railways. Who's that man? Ships. Hello, Mr. Hello, Brunel. Sir. How are you? I'm very well, thank you for well, asking. Is that some problem? Have you done anything big recently? Oh, well, I was just saying to this gentleman, after building railways yeah. and uh, ships and bridges, I've been taking a little bit of a break, to be uh, honest with you. Have you? I'm thinking up uh, some new and wonderful invention soon. I'm not sure what. Perhaps uh, an improvement on the uh, sat-nav, possibly. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, about, about time. Yeah, as, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So frequently ending or, up... Or even the DS4. Like, you know. Ah, ah DS4, yeah. Okay. Was that statue we saw the padding? Is that you as well? Yes, yes I designed the roof. On oh, the right. Station. I thought that was... Oh, right. right. oh yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, uh, I got around. It was very busy. Yeah. But, uh, is this your first visit to the ship? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes. I, yeah. I, came, I think I came when I was about eight age, but I can't. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, that's a lot Notice a few it? differences today, sir. Yeah, I changed quite a bit in that time. I uh, I recommend you start with the dry dock, entrance to which is just over here behind this crane. Okay. It's going to take you under the water into the very dock where the ship was built 168 years ago. It's a magnificent way to see the ship, and it's quite beautiful to be standing under the water. Right. After you're done with the dry dock, the museum yeah. will take you through the ship's entire history. Yeah. And then you'll be welcomed aboard where you can explore her at your leisure. Oh, oh yeah. But I see. Yeah. If you have any questions, if there's anything I can do to make your day more enjoyable, all you have to shout is, Izzy! Izzy! Izzy. And I will come dashing and do my best to answer them for you. Oh, say thank you, Mr. Brunel. Thank you. Obviously, it was the first I had ship. Because there you go, yes. you, you, met, you met one of the I history's had. greatest men. Yeah. My ships were doing just fine. Well, you couldn't build a wooden ship big enough. This was the problem. Wood yeah. has a limited size that you can work with. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not strong enough to support the entire structure. And it was all about size. Well, I didn't know that. As it so often is. <laughs> the original design for this ship, before I changed it to iron, was going to be about 1,300, 1,400 tonnes. When I'd made the decision to change to iron, I could build a ship 3,433 tonnes in size. Uh -huh. So over twice nice the size, size huh? I would have been able and to I achieve I suppose that changed wood. everything, then, didn't it? Did the, Absolutely. Did all ships made away after that, or that did they was carry it. on? It was, very few were built from, from wood by that point. It was seen as old-fashioned technology. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fish, fishing boats, possibly, but in terms of any substantial craft, iron was the way to go. It was interesting because by the time she was finished, there were already competitors working on similar vessels. Yeah. Uh, the switch to iron, and, and this ship in particular. Well, she's known as the the uh, father or the mother, I should oh, say, of all modern on ships. ships yeah. um, they've all drawn on her design. She was also the first ship of any size to use a screw propeller. Before then, it had all been paddle steamers. But, yeah. You might notice when you walk towards the dry dock, you see that the actual dock itself suddenly widens out. Yeah. And that's because in the original design, there would have been a huge paddle at the side of the ship. Yeah. But I discovered through uh, scientific research and experimentation. Because well, you, you're brilliant. Of yeah. course. Yeah. The propellers were far more efficient. Wow. I designed my own propeller, which you'll see when you yeah. go into the dry dock. It's fascinating. I designed it a couple of hundred years ago with pen and paper, yeah. and it is only 5% less efficient than the computer design propellers that ships use today. Oh. Well, that's what a job I, I did. Idea. You're fantastic. I know. Uh, I'll tell you what, I will not bore uh, you with yeah. any more of my no. stories. I'm going to let you get on and explore for yourself. Yeah. But as I say, any other questions, please don't hesitate. Did you okay. ever work with an apprentice, or once you, were, once you finished, that was it, was it? I was educated in France, and I worked with a shipbuilder who did the designs and another engineer by the name of Thomas Guppy who worked with the engines. Yeah. Um, so I cannot take all the credit. Yeah. I should be honest, I shared it with the other two. Yeah, you just take 99.9. I was the one that made it happen. You <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, I found the funding and I got the yeah, right people yeah. in the right place. That's it, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, she cost us uh, £117,294, 7 shillings and 6 pence. So, cost quite a bit, but she could have recouped her losses easily had she been managed properly. Yeah. Fortunately, she wasn't. But you'll oh. learn all about that. Right, okay, I'm right, going to spoil yeah. the story. Oh, okay. For you. Well, pleasure to meet you, Izzy. Pleasure right, is right. mine. Sir. Shake, 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 Mr. Brunel's hand because he's one of history's Lovely greatest men. And you, you. I'll shake his hands. Lovely to meet you. Okay. Thank you, Have Mr. A Brunel. Have a wonderful afternoon. All right. Try then. Oh.